do it again. Love it. Number three. Are we hot and bothered? Yeah, really hot. Doesn't, doesn't take a lot, does it? <sighs> I hate getting to camp and it's just so hot and there's no shade. What do you mean? Look, I created shade for you, my love. <sighs> it's not the same yet. And look, it? the kids are carrying on like muggies. <laughs> They're happy. <laughs> Oh, I mean, like the ocean is just there. Well, this is so. our little piece of Barn Hill we got for $51 a night. Um, it's a beautiful view, but uh, I don't know. I think we've just been spoiled by the Dampier Peninsula at Broome. Mm, the beach camping. So yeah. again, in isolation, oh. Barn Hill looks beautiful, mm. but damn, we've just come from some nice spots. So. I think sometimes too, when you rock up to camp and things aren't what you expect in your mind, you sort of start to think, oh, like maybe we should just do one night here and get out of here but I think at the end of the day once you set up and you start looking around and enjoying the the actual place I think it'll be okay yeah, but right might. now I'm just and then you meet hot, some people and hungry you have some drinks and it's all good yeah what's for lunch um <laughs> you're struggling <sighs> Come on, ham wrap with a light, punch it out, let's oh, go. Oh yeah, ham wraps again. Yes. Ooh, they're our go-to. <laughs> I actually bought, um, what did we buy today? Everything, we bought one of everything in Woolies. No, I think. we bought little spring rolls that you can put in the oven for a lunch idea. Mm. <sighs> really struggle with lunch ideas. Um, yeah, that isn't just like a salad sandwich or a ham wrap. Salad doesn't last forever, or very long at all, Yeah, actually. so we were buying like chicken tenders and putting them on a wrap with lettuce and mayo mm, over them. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe some dips and bickies later on. Dips and bickies. <laughs> the the, um, the attitude will pick up a little with a little bit it's of alcohol. It's just so hot! <laughs> it's not. Oh my it's, God. Like, it's like 33 degrees. Oh. <laughs> yes, anyway. darling? Can we have a super duper? No, you're going to have lunch first. Oh, actually, do you want Super chocolate? Do you, frozen. do you want chocolate for lunch? No. Do you want lollies for lunch? <laughs> you sure? It's too hot. Too hot for chocolate and lollies. You can have an ice cube for lunch. Yes. An ice cube. Done. Thank you. As soon Bye. as you have a ham and salad wrap. No. no. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Mmm. <laughs> 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 Highlight of the day. Mm. So we left Broome yesterday and we headed south. Uh, we've come probably about 100 k's down the road and we've come to a little spot called Barn Hill. It's a station, cattle station, uh, which is right here on the beach. Pretty bizarre, a uh, cattle station being on the beach, but you can stay here, swim here, uh, fish here. And behind me, you've got these awesome 
rock formations. So cool. The west coast of Australia really just keeps giving us all the goods. Fishless as usual. I'm gonna really um, think about giving away fishing because clearly not very good at it. But hopefully it makes you guys out there that are watching feel better because I seem to talk to a lot of people that don't catch fish. There seems to be a lot of people fishing though, so. Uh, we'll keep trying, we'll get that one, one day. What's going on, Mum? <laughs> Homework. I am trying to sort our life out as much as I said we never do bookings. What are we doing? We're doing bookings. Ah! <laughs> Panic! Megan was a little bit angry and cranky uh, about the bookings this morning. Some things you just can't plan and we actually, when we look at the dates, we're going to be in Exmouth in the WA school holidays, which is just fantastic. Well, Not. Anyway, we got what we wanted. So anyway, um, it's so Exmouth area is all those beautiful photos you see on social media that have the crystal clear waters and the white sand and oh, it's just beautiful snorkeling, all this beautiful stuff. That is Exmouth and Cape Range. So and Ningaloo, Ningaloo Reef, all those spots. We're going to be smack bang in the school holidays. So of course, and we don't do any bookings. Everything is booked out. We have today jagged a couple of three nights here and three nights there and three nights here which three honestly nights there. so that's three nights is us. enough for us anyway i'm very excited that we actually i'm actually feeling it feels a bit weird that we have bookings um, know, hopefully, we, hopefully we haven't done any bookings on this whole entire trip so far um but i think everyone was telling us oh you won't get in you won't get in so i didn't really want to skip the whole you know cape range national park ningaloo reef area um, definitely wanted to be able to stay there somewhere. So we've just booked whatever we could today. So, but, but we got mostly what we wanted. There's a couple, yeah. we've got about two or three more days that we need to fill in, which yeah. it'll happen. And yeah. then honestly, right. that's about all the time we could have had. High five. <laughs> you love a good high five. Go again. Oh, high five Such a even. dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> so were we a little harsh on Barnhill to start, you reckon, or? Is it just because um, we've been to so many nice places? No, I think it's, again, like I said before, sometimes you turn up somewhere, you're hot, you're bothered, hungry, and... Which is most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> you sort of look around and go, oh, it's just a dirt patch. I know there's a beach here, but I don't know, at the time I was just a bit flustered, and I think once you settled in, it was actually really, really good. Beautiful, it's a beaut beautiful it's a, shoreline. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful spot. I got up... 5.30 this morning, walked up the beach and back. Which was amazing. I don't think she's ever seen that t time of the day. Is that true? Thank you for that. <laughs> anyway, did the walk up the beach this morning and saw heaps of beautiful shells and the kids have been making shell necklaces that I'm wearing here. We've met some cool people here again, just keep meeting really, really nice people everywhere and um, definitely was a great place to come and hang for a few days and just relax. Actually, one of the highlights, which really didn't seem to be that big a thing was, and a lot of places do have them, were the open air showers. We mm. went down yesterday afternoon together and we sh didn't have 
we had a shower each. But you just to stand there. So awkward. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need to clarify that. But just to stand there and have an open air shower and have yeah. a chat, and it was it was really nice. And um, yeah, we'd definitely come back. That's yeah. Good. Right, sweet. Are we good? Yep. High five. Last little. <laughs> She loves Sweep of the van before we um, head out. <laughs> All right, eh? Very risky. I'm only doing it because it's an easy road. <laughs> no, nah, you're right. It's good to have a break. Yeah. We made it, 80 mile. Mum did two, about 200, 250 k's today. She's good driving. Yeah, nice Thanks. easy driving. Thank you so much. Holy moly. Alrighty Harps, where are we? 80 miles beach. So we've set up camp at 80 mile beach caravan park and what an amazing park. So beautifully maintained. Um, green grass everywhere, just beautiful. 45 a night, we're paying for unpowered and we're right, right on the beach, backing onto the dunes. So couldn't have asked for a better spot. We've driven down onto the beach and a lot of the people, we've noticed no one's swimming here. So we just asked someone, what's the go? No one's in the water. I'd heard that there's a lot of jellyfish here, but it's actually sharks that everyone's a bit scared by. So I don't know. Um, if it's a thing here that it's a sort of a shark area or, or what we have heard obviously the west coast has a lot of sharks but um, yeah the water's not real clear um, even though it's crystal blue it's actually really sandy so we're not going to risk it and go in too far we've just sort of gone up into our knees that's fine and the shells here are amazing so that is a winner for me and the girls we're going to go looking for a heap of shells now I've nearly caught and I caught it in a cast. Ready? Go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yuck. laughs> yeah. Seven of them. Hey. Whoa! Yes! <laughs> fish are caught anyway. <laughs> Yeah. So that is a blue nose salmon. Blue nose salmon has four little whiskers. Yep. Red fin salmon has five. There's no size limit on these, but you can only have four each. But as far as they go, he said that's not a bad size. Cool. Oh, it's Fish stinks. for dinner. And for the record, I caught the first piece of bait with the casting. <laughs> so this is the 
This all happened from the casting. Yeah, but didn't it eat itself? Yes, they bloody love them, they love themselves. So we used, the bait was one of those. A tiny little one, yeah. <laughs> I upgraded. Cannibal! Oh my god! We're having fish for dinner! <laughs> Sorry. Just drag him in. Come on, Dad! Let's go! Get those muscles up! Stop <laughs> the wrong rod to go. Why don't you just drag him in? Oh, really? Right, okay, I understand now. What do you reckon? That is, that is sick. Oh, that is sick. wow. What is this? On a, on a like a My daddy. Two o hook. No, no, sorry, like a, a tiny hook, 12 pound line, and a river rod. <laughs> That's awesome. That is sick. Let's go and have a beer. Righto. Right. It's, a real, it's a real problem when you've got to remove the beer to put the fish in, isn't it? Today is worth it for sure. Oh my goodness. Yes. We have no room for beer now, but you don't really care, do you? It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. exciting. It's a big day. Oh my We've been fishing for two and a half months nearly. Oh, probably the last month and a half. At least every second day I've been fishing. Yeah. No, I'm useless at fishing normally. Mm. Yes, yes, I agree. Yes, beer. <laughs> Thank you. There we go, my just to, uh, just to clarify, Megan was standing next to me fishing for an hour and a half, so... Thanks for that, love. Bloody, <laughs> uh, bloody mm. exciting! I don't realise how excited you get about Excuse me, what did you say? Bloody exciting! <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those times when uh, you can say that, darling. High five. Oh, love, your, love your work you've provided for your family tonight. <laughs> I just like all the best way to We'll put the steak away when we get home. Yeah. Come on, Mum. Happy. Keep going, wind it in, keep pressure on it. Oh, has Mum got a keeper? Maybe. <laughs> walk back, walk back. Oh, I reckon it's close. Keep going! Keep going! Yes! Woohoohoo! I think so. I think that's a blue nose. So, hang on. We are killing it! Sorry, sorry. Yes! Go, Mom! 
You catched one! Yay! Good job! No! <laughs> <laughs> Different scenery. You don't get <laughs> just that a, kind of beach and then cattle very often. <laughs> just over the dunes and you've got a whole herd of cattle. Very often we eat what we call. <laughs> like never. Looks good. Well, so good. Go for this crispy skin salmon. Let's have a look. Oh. How's that? It right. looks pretty good. Yeah. So these were all the little ones we caught. Or all like two little <laughs> ones we caught. They look like massive steaks. So we've got the two big fillets left, which I reckon will be Another couple of night stuff. Mm. So hopefully it's really nice because we'll be eating it for a while. Delicious. Fishing session two. Meigs is even wearing the uniform today. <laughs> All right. She's hooked. Now we're like wearing the same shirt, which is pretty embarrassing. But <laughs> I feel like we look like oldies down there that are in their little matching fishing shirts. And well, we I can, mean, nothing we, wrong with that, hey, but it's I feel happen a little sooner bit. Or, sooner I do later. feel a little bit out of place today, but I'm not getting burnt. No. And yeah, I got we got pretty roasted yesterday, even though we were lathered in cream. And um, yeah. I'm gonna get cream gonna, on. Good, good job. Good but, uh, job. Gonna catch um, some more salmon. Yes. It's awesome. beautiful. I'm not a big fish eater, but I really enjoyed it last night. So really, really keen to get down there and do this. There's so much beach to choose from. Go right. Right, there's no one up there. Just fished for about two hours straight and a lot of bites, didn't catch a thing, except a little bit more of a suntan. So anyway, we're going back to camp now, packing it up. <sighs> Trying to pack up, no fish today, love? No. Devo, then you put a lot of effort in today. Meg was Miss, Miss Fisherman today, but that's fishing. Yesterday we caught heaps, today we caught a couple of little ones, but Nothing to take home, I'm afraid. Anywho, the beers taste good, so back to camp, and I feel like uh, there's going to be a few beers had because we've got a couple of people coming around tonight, which is very common on the road, and we like that's what, and we truly do love that about being on the road. So not all is lost. Bad days fishing, but a good day on the road nonetheless. So pack the rods up and head back. Cheers. You. Collecting shells. We can try and find our kids, they seem to evolve wide. <laughs> caravan parks go we're not really generally big fans of caravan parks that's probably the best well it's not really it is a caravan park but it's not your typical caravan park isn't it no it's just a fantastic location and yeah. it's reasonably priced and it's nice green grass well spaced out um, and then you got this so, well done 80 mile we'll be back one at one point yeah 